Hi, today I want to talk about quitting and why sometimes that's the bravest thing you can do. Changing course, dropping out, taking time off, taking a gap year, whatever it is, I know the difficult feelings that come along with it, but sometimes it is the bravest, bravest thing that you can do. Sometimes we make bad choices, especially if you're young. We are in denial about what we think we want, then we get to where we're supposed to be and we hate it. Or maybe we're not ready. And I need to say, like, not everyone is ready at the same time. I'm speaking as a late bloomer here for everything that everyone else is ready for, and that's totally okay. Something you really want to focus on is just living your own life. Like, don't worry about that person down the hall or how happy everyone else seems. Like, you're the one in charge of your life. You've got to make choices for you. Don't worry about what other people are doing because it's pointless to compare yourself to them anyway. They are on their own track. Another thing that I think leads to so many people needing to quit is that we're under a lot of pressure to succeed. We're all striving so hard to get as far as we can. And sometimes that pressure leads us to make choices that are more about success than what we really care about. So we get taken away from our own values and we don't realize it until it's too late. It is totally okay not to like what you think you're supposed to like. That is, you know, fine. What's bad is when you beat yourself up for that. Like you have to give yourself permission to not like stuff because it's the only signal your body and your soul are gonna give you that a change needs to happen. That's how you're gonna get to the next place. So it's okay to take some time to wallow. Like if you need to roll into a ball for a little while with that family sized bag of Doritos, like you get down with your bad Dorito self, um, but just for a while and figure your stuff out. Then you've gotta get back up. You've gotta ask yourself, what do I need to work on here? What is my next step? What have I learned from this experience? You will find that if you release yourself from the shame of having quit and dropped out, you will discover that doors open to you, that paths open. You're not going to be forever with that bag of Doritos. You wouldn't have gotten to where you are if that was the kind of person you were. You will bounce back. So give your chance, give yourself a chance, the time to reflect. And you will find when you take the pressure off that you will experience a sense of courage and independence and curiosity about the next step that you didn't realize was there. Good luck and don't worry about quitting. Sometimes it is the right thing to do.